Hi everyone. So I'm um, here. I'm back again. So uh, while I'm filming or like doing some tests on like the backlog of stuff of lens reviews and camera reviews that I needed to go through, I figured um, uh, I I'll let you. Uh, I mean, I'll go through a, like a quick look on the Elgato Wave mic arm boom arm which is essentially a their um, response to the ever popular Rode PSA-1 that I have here so um, the Rode PSA-1 is something that I've been using for 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 a while for um, for for my recording um, but great as it is um, it has like you know one nagging issue that I couldn't I couldn't really fix is the way like that the thing here that that's loose that no matter what I do with that like this thumb screw so at uh, this thumb thing no matter how tight I get on this thing um, it doesn't really stay put but other than that this is actually very good a very good boom arm like you know um, really the only the only option that you have if you have if you only have like a hundred dollars of a budget so it has a good base that you can clamp on the side of your table it also comes with a another mounting option where you could drill a hole in your table and have your your uh, boom arm rest on that so again very stable very well made and like you know the aside from that pro aside from this from that issue the only really thing that's kind of um, I guess not so refined about this is the cable management but to me that's secondary uh, far secondary issue than the main issue that I have here um, I, I when I watch a few other you like YouTube videos they say about like you know dismantling this or return it to peak to road to get it fixed under warranty but like you know I'm too lazy to do that so I uh, again, like you know, I dealt with it, but whatever. But then, um, not too long ago, uh, I heard about this uh, Elgato um, boom arm. Actually, uh, when I was when I was I went to their website. I was actually looking at buying the the low profile version of this, which was reviewed through another, which I saw I learned from another YouTube youtuber Tom Buck um, so I was planning to look at that and then then I saw this which is which is actually seemed better than what PSA 1 um, offers so um, same same price a hundred dollars I'll be they did didn't it doesn't come with the like you know the alternate mountain option which I never use anyway so that's not really a huge loss for me so the the thing is the the, the big selling point for me is that it has this um, the like you know it has like this ball head like thing that allows you to quickly um, adjust whatever here without much of a struggle or much of a danger of like you know when you mount this thing when you mount your your um, mic here which this is a sure SM uh, SM7B which is not a which is a bit of a heavy side when as far as mic goes but anyway um, so that was a huge selling point for me and um, and as you know, I mean, Elgato makes like, you know, really nice design, well thought out design products. Um, it has a, uh, uh, a, a side table mount, which is, in my opinion, is better than what Rode has, the, the Rode PSA one has. And like, you know, like, again, the, the nice design, it has, you know, the logo here, which is very subtle, not too obnoxious and the last and, and one of the nice things about this is the cable management so it has this rubber thingy so you could slip in the 
my cable in there and then snap this shut in there along in this side of the boom arm um, compare that to the low profile one which has the, the metal thing which is from based on other reviews is not not as good because it pops off whenever sometimes we're just moving the arm but anyway this was this is better um, well cable management wise it already um, it's already better than the PSA one but as far as like you know like setting it up it's not it's not a huge issue the only th minor thing for me and I think and I'm not sure if this is for whatever if it's like you know by design or it's because of the weight of the mic or it could be whatever and, and I'm um, and the, the thing that's sort of annoying is that when you move it right unlike the PSA one when you when you let go of your hand it stays there this one doesn't it droops a little whenever you, you when you move something right which is uh, I mean when you're moving sideways it's not like you know horizontal it doesn't go as much and it really just does that when you're lifting it um, to a certain degree right so yeah there you go I mean it's it's probably because of the, the capacity um, within the limits of the, the capacity of the, the boom arm but the way I use it, it's like, you know, I mean, within this level anyway, which is, again, uh, which to me is not, not much of an issue. I'm not sure if it's, if it can be adjusted to have like a greater tension or whatever, but I'm, you know, uh, too lazy to look it up if it's even possible. Let me know in the comments below if I'm like, you know, if this can be done and maybe I'll try. Uh, adjusting the tension of the springs inside but like you know I mean given the the design of it and it suits fine like you know the being able to mount things better than what the PSA 1 does this gets the vote for me now I know there's a new version that that, that came out and this is actually why I made this video that the road came up with a PSA one plus which has a number of work on improvements that actually addressed one of the issues that I had with the the original PSA one however I I that really it I mean if I'm probably looking to to replace this I'd probably consider that but given what this has given that this is works better for me albeit like some minor annoyance about like you know not not being as good as the PSA ones and on keeping it's and keeping still on where you want it to be I'd still choose this over the newer PSA one plus um, because of because of like, or despite of its shortcoming and it's and and the new one um, while they improved some of the um, like you know a lot of the issues that they had and improved on some of it um, it is also more expensive at $130 I think um, and also apparently it came with like you know the the, the, the sleeve that that has like a, a huge obnoxious road logo on it um, not a fan of that so I think I superficial as may seem I probably not buying it for that reason alone so between the PSA, PSA one, PSA one plus, and then this um, arm, I'd probably choose this one, um, and I'd probably recommend this over the others. Um, yeah, that's it.